Hi there folks and welcome. Filters are the latest thing for in-camera photography and if you're a Nikon shooter, Nikon has made that easy for you. It's called picture control profile that are provided in the Z series and most of the Nikon DSLR. These are probably the closest thing you've got in cameras to filters that are on your smartphone and filters for Instagram. Nikon provided a series of specific type files and also 20 really creative and they range from flat to very creative profiles. In this video we are going to take a look at how you go about both in camera and also using an app that Nikon provides for your computer and let's start with where you can find a Nikon picture profile and then we'll look to all and how to customize in camera then we'll dive into the desktop picture profile app too okay folks let's get started let's go on to Nikon download center for picture control Okay, let's go into the picture controls and this is where you're going to find all your built-in settings for your camera. Each camera is going to have a different uh, amount of uh, settings and creative uh, picture controls built into the camera. So, but this is where you will find and be able to set it. I shoot with a neutral in my camera. Next step, come down to the picture control, one step down to the save and edit menu. Do a little right click on that arrow and again these are the ones that you can adjust and save for your particular preferences that you would like. Let's try the Vivid here and do a little right click again and here you see the opportunities that you can do with this um, setting. You got quick sharpening, sharpening, mid-range sharpening, clarity, contrast, brightness, saturation, all settings you can adjust in your camera. Now, the big downside to this is you don't see how it affects your photo. So this is why the desktop version is the place to be and to make your adjustments. So let's head over to the desktop version and um, have a look there and give it a go. Okay, folks, now that we've got uh, the picture controls set up on our computer, um, what you need to do to add your cameras uh, and uh, the optional software is to come up to the top left corner. There's a drop down menu. I've got my cameras, I've got some Z cameras, uh, D850 um, cameras all are already uh, installed in here. But if you don't have any uh, cameras, you can add your product, click on your add product, and then you can pick your category, the types of cameras you've got, the mirrorless, cool pick software that you want. Uh, in this case, we're just, you know, we're looking at the DSLR cameras, uh, the D6s, the D78s, um, all the lineup of uh, the Nikon cameras along the side here. So once you've added them, they'll go into your system here. Um, and uh, you just click OK and uh, they're up on the top. And what you'll find with the different types of uh, cameras is you're going to have down the left side, there's a different range of optional um, picture profiles that uh, are provided for each series of cameras. Now the Z6 got quite a series of uh, uh, options here uh, for creative uh, profiles. Um, in a D850, as you can see, we're limited to a little bit less of uh, options. Uh, but uh, this is where you'll find all your profiles are going to be down on the left side. Uh, but let's just go back onto my uh, Z6. So um, all down the bottom here, I've made myself uh, an F-Log. Uh, this is a very flat profile. I use this for videos. Uh, going down further, we've got a little bin down here to import custom picture controls and also um, doing from the memory card. So this left side is, is going to be where you're going to start initially. Um, you've got standard, neutral, uh, vivid uh, for your camera settings um, and it'll reflect out onto your initial 
um, image that's on here. These images are all supplied. Okay, now that we've uh, had an initial look at the left side of uh, the software for the picture controls, let's continue across the top and uh, let's have a look at uh, what we can do here. There's a preview button here. You can kind of click down on it. You can adjust the preview and what that does is when you bring that up it'll give you a bit of an uh, adjustment panel for exposure. Uh, you can record a white balance. You can change your white balances on your um, uh, images. Uh, you can do some fine adjustments. You can do some tinting. You can see the effects that uh, your delighting would have on the image. Um, and then, um, so it just gives you an option on there. So that's the initial preview. You're coming across uh, and you can, you can click on this button up here and you'll see that it'll give you the reflective changes. So whatever changes you're gonna do to the image, you'll be able to see it side by side. Uh, there's also um, a histogram that'll pop up once you start working on the right hand here. Uh, but let's just continue going along the top here. We've got uh, selected image, the size to be displayed. So you can zoom in uh, on your images, uh, one to one, two to one, three to, you know, four to four. So it, it allows you to have a closer look at sharpness that you've uh, creating uh, with your profiles and uh, which is really nice and handy to be able to zoom in that uh, that close on it and uh, you can rotate images here uh, you can display full full screen uh, you can do just individual uh, image you can compare them side by side you can care, compare them top to top top to bottom so quite a bit of uh, range of opportunities to to work on your images uh, within the center and just for your viewing uh, of your adjustments. Okay, now that we've um, explored the left side of the, the program, we've explored the top, what, what uh, settings are on the top, let's go down on the right. Let's pick out an image and um, let's start with that. So what I want to do is I'm going to use my camera, my D850, uh, profiles. I'm going to take a standard image side by side here. You're going to come across, you can see what the um, histogram is. It's, it's, uh, it's away from um, overblown, but uh, yeah. Let's, let's do some quick adjustments. You can see the quick adjustment here goes from minus two to two. And uh, so it's very quickly, it, um, you can do some major adjustments in here. Um, I usually, I don't, I don't work with that. I usually do just little increments in terms of the sharpening, uh, in terms of the clarity that uh, you can add, some contrast up or down on there, um, uh, and your bright brightness. You can, you can uh, just kind of work with that. You can, very quickly you can reflect the changes in here. So um, you can see them side by side, or if you want to do top to bottom. And uh, so that's, basically what it does now once you've made some adjustments on on the images it's going to allow you to have a custom setting and this is where this becomes so much easier than working in in the camera uh, you're able to um, add it to a list you're gonna you can rename this you can re reset it so if you didn't like what you've done you can just kind of reset and it's going to go uh, just it'll go back to the original uh, settings. So let's do um, the adjustment on here again um, for this uh, image. Let me just bring it back to one screen. We're going to make, uh, add, let's add a little bit of sharpening to this, uh, a little bit more clarity, it, although it's not too bad, a bit more contrast. Um, and uh, let's bring down the brightness just to here on there. It might take a little bit of time to reflect the, the changes on the screen as the camera or the computers turning away. <clears throat> um, you can add some saturation to this. You can add some hue up or down. Again, you can see that it, there's not much that uh, um, you can go minus three to minus uh, three on both saturation and hue to positive three. And 
if you like the changes you've made what you can do is you can just click on this add to list now you've got the opportunity to, to do a standard you can rename this you can put some descriptions in here what you've done to it how, how you've adjusted it and uh, so this you can say um, I'm just going to call this the test standard 2 or even better is call it the desktop so you know where um, where it, it basically has um, been adjusted so standard desktop standard um, and uh, I'm just going to take the two off here so now you've got um, and then you can say we've uh, adjusted uh, highlights uh, sharp and uh, some hue so you can kind of let 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 the system know or let yourself know what you've done with that and you can just kind of save it now you'll notice it's come down to the bottom here so these are your custom settings that you can now export into your camera so you don't have to mess around with the tiny little dials a tiny screen on your camera so our next step is going to be uh, we'll export it but uh, you can also have uh, custom curves on here uh, we didn't we didn't cover that but uh, you've got the specific white and black points that you can have you can got uh, the, uh, the droppers for it you can do um, the curves uh, the histogram uh, and then load custom settings so you can do it's just basically you can do your little s curve on here again and it'll reflect that onto your um, profile very handy very easy you can see right on the screen the difference between the two what you've uh, what you've accomplished in the settings again you can go down resave it and uh, add to the list and you can make this another version of your uh, desktop standards so in this case I'm just going to cancel and go back out of it so those are the settings it's very easy very handy and I just love working on the desktop where you can actually see what's happening to your image okay now that uh, we've gone through uh, from left to the right we've edited videos now we need to export the profile back into your camera so let's go back over on the left side here now you'll see I've got two uh, custom profiles here this is where all your custom profiles are going to go down the bottom here um, what you'll need to do is you'll need to have a formatted card from your camera insert it into your card reader so you can um, just highlight these um, two that you want to export to your camera and on the bottom here at uh, to save card what what it'll do is if your card is in there in the card reader you hit save it's going to ask you custom picture control has been saved to volume d850 nikon custom pc just click ok and it automatically will take that out there so let me just show you here um, on my system that now we have the custom cards there's I've, I've done this one twice so I can just move that to the trash but I have two custom profiles exported from our Nikon profile control picture controller now we just have to import that into your camera and Bob's your uncle very very simple using your desktop app and uh, that's what I love about it everything is just handy it's visible and you don't have to mess around with tiny little controls I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, come back for some more and uh, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe and like as YouTube does like that and thanks for watching Frank Pally photography We'll see you soon.